There are some exchange topics that are very easy to explain, and you can do it in about a minute, and everyone gets the concept, because it's something that they've seen before, or perhaps if it relates to their inbox, they sort of have an idea of what it is you're trying to accomplish. For example, in previous lessons, we just discussed the creation of offline address books or the global address list. This is something that you might be comfortable with already. However, when discussing managed content settings, we're talking about helping our users by providing a variety of policies and rules, creating secondary instances of default folders. Some of these concepts can be a little bit confusing if we don't have it clear in mind. And so basically, it's necessary to understand the real-world application of managed content settings before you actually learn the steps involved to create managed content settings. So what exactly are we talking about with managed content settings? Well, imagine this. A user has an inbox. They have deleted items. They have sent items. And let's say in a world where you're working with unified messaging, they may have everything from emails to voicemails to faxes. Maybe even they use the journal, RSS feeds, task items. It's obvious that their mailbox can get out of control. And that happens oftentimes. So one of the ways you can help your users is by creating policies that will affect their default folders. So take something as simple as, let's say, their deleted items. We want them to delete things out of their deleted items because that's still part of their mailbox. But if they don't automatically do it, well, you can establish a policy that makes it so that their deleted items are purged after a period of time. So they throw something in deleted items, and let's say they have 60 days before that item is now deleted. Now you might say, well, there's also deleted item retention, so you might have another 14 days after that, after it's permanently deleted. And that's true. But just to get them to move things out of their deleted items, you can create a policy that will manage that content in the deleted items folder. At the same time, however, you might decide, you know what, that's only for some of my users. But for other users, I really just want to purge specific items, like voicemails or faxes that have been deleted. So can you create multiple policies? Actually, you can. You can separate out the instances of your deleted items, and you can establish different levels of policies depending on what it is you're looking to control. So you can purge content, you can move content, you can say, you know what, instead of deleting it, I want to move it somewhere else. So let's say instead of focusing on deleted items, let's focus on a person's inbox. Let's say all faxes that have come into their inbox, you want that moved after a certain period of time. And you want to move it to a folder that's different from all of the default folders. Well, what can you do there? You can't force all of your users to create a custom folder. No, but you can create custom folders and push that out by a policy to all of your users. So let's say you create a custom folder called faxes and you create a policy that forces faxes beyond a certain period of time to be moved over to that folder. From there, you may actually create a journal rule that will make a copy of those faxes and then perhaps create another rule that purges the content of that faxes custom folder. So obviously this can sound a little bit overwhelming. Let's just look at the bullet points here. You can use managed content settings to help your users by getting involved with their default folders. You can create ways to make copies of content automatically or journal that content as we say. You can give your users additional folders, custom folders to work with beyond the default folders and then we can apply content settings to those folders. And the whole process is really a two-fold goal. The first is to help your users to be more organized. The second is to prevent their storage from getting out of control, which then clogs up your server. So you can see how managed content settings is a good way to assist your users to keep the clutter down and help them to be a little bit more organized. Hopefully at this point you understand the concept and going forward we're going to show you the steps involved. We hope you found this informative and we'll see you in the next lesson.